Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you guys how to change the brakes on a 2007 Jeep Commander 4x4. The first thing that we need to do is remove the tire, which is pretty guys, easy. You guys, remove the tire. After that, or actually prior to that, make sure that your car is lifted, secure on the front, lifted. I have two jacks and a lift jack for security so then initially this was in here like that and you have two screws one right here and the other one right here which I have saved right here and here are the lug nuts that go to on the tire i just got this tool to shrink the caliper which i'm gonna go ahead and shrink it in a little bit so the new pads fit perfectly another thing that i'm inspecting is the rotors and they're very nice and smooth I have not had any trouble with the rotors or any braking issues. I just need to do the maintenance on this car. One thing that I actually learned from my grandfather is that you should open the, the hood. So I'm going to open the hood right here. So, right here. Open the hood and let the brake canister, which is located on the driver's side, all the way to the back. leave it open so it could breathe I'm just gonna leave it a little bit open just like that so air could come out so I'm going to continue doing the maintenance I'm gonna do the tire on the back first then I'm gonna do the other side I will go ahead and continue to vlog if you have any questions Please feel free to leave the comments just below. Remember guys, safety first, safety first. All right guys, so I just got back from the local AutoZone store, Auto Parts, and I got the pads. The whole thing was $50, including the taxes and what I recommend is that you get the pad that includes the clips and everything. So you don't have to go through any hassles, make sure that everything is brand new. So that is my recommendation. The next thing I'm gonna do, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to put the piston, I'm gonna push it back and I'm gonna push it back with this tool right here all right let me go ahead and install it real quick Let's see. Let's see I'm going to go ahead and wear some gloves I need, to, I need to go buy some good gloves. Likely I'll do it later today. So I'm going to go ahead and... Okay guys, let's see if I can do it. This is what I had to do. I had to open the bleeder on the back. Once I opened the bleeder with a 10 millimeter socket 
I squeeze this in all the way in. Once it's all the way in, I put it snug. Now what I'm gonna do, so this fits perfectly here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and install the one that goes on the back. So it should go like, it should go like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Let me see. Go ahead and squeeze it in. Okay, so it's now in. You have to put the the clips inside now. I'm going to install this part which should go like so the clips on the outside go on the outside so I'm gonna go ahead and um, so this goes let me see here So this clip has to go on the right side when you're looking at this. And um, this matches the back. So let's go ahead and put it in. And it fits like that, it fits perfectly. All right. I also replaced the little clips on the bottom that also go on the top. It comes with the hardware, it comes over here, it comes with this. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the installation. So this should fit perfectly. This should go right here, should go right here, should clip on the bottom, should clip on the bottom, and it should clip right here too, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few things. Here. Okay. All right. Make sure the dampers, this are pushed all the way back. Make sure they're all the way back. This damper. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. Make sure they are all the way back. Then this should. So they're fitting, uh, let me see. Okay. They're good. Okay, something on the front. Good, check, check. All right, now we are going to install Now we're going to install the screws that go on the dampers that I was just talking about. This is a gear here. So there's one on the bottom. There's one on the top. And make them nice and secure. Oh, 
Okay, so for that, I'm going to be using a 13 millimeter wrench right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start making it tight. No all the way, but kind of snug so I can make them all even. Okay, so it's snug. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom one too. Same thing, snug. Okay, they are, this one is snug. This one should be a little bit snug here. Okay. Snug once again. Snug. And snug. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and make the bleeder. I'm gonna go ahead and tie that, which is on the back too. That is a 10 millimeter. Okay, that is going to be snug. Snug, okay. All right, so this is looking Good so far. Let's go ahead and do one more check here. Um, snug. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to make the other one snug too. should be set there is a rubber thing that goes on the back of the bleeder put that there make sure it's nice and secure I made a little bit of a mess here but all right guys so I just got done doing the passenger side brake pads exchange. So I'm done here. Um, I initially didn't show how to remove the wheel. So I like to make the, the nut loose and then I lift up the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and um do the process and show a little bit more of the process of removing the the brake pads so you guys can have an idea once again this is the brake pad um exchange or replacement on a 2007 jeep commander all-wheel drive and i'm sure the exchange is the same for every year of the jeep commander let me go ahead and set this up.
and I'm using the three quarters side of it. So I'm just gonna make them loose. Now, let me go ahead and lift up the car. All right, so I have lifted the car, secured the car, and I'm going to take up the wheel. I'm gonna put the nuts securely right here so they don't go nowhere. I'm going to remove the tire. I'm gonna put the tire on the side. And this is how we have the calipers. Once again, I need to remove this bolt right here. There's one right here on the side right here i have learned that i need to open up the bleeder so i can go ahead and undo the uh drum and it should be fine all right let me go ahead and start working on it all right guys i have go i have replaced the entire thing and once again don't forget to make this nug this one's pretty snug and close the bleeder, which is right here on the back. And this, this took me like, what, like maybe 15 minutes max? All right, I hope this was helpful.